What is up y'all, Odeed here once again, and today I'm gonna to be trying out and reviewing Kingsford's barbecue pellets. Now I'm sure most of us would agree that at least for a very long time, and even right now, uh, when it comes to briquettes, Kingsford is pretty much the standard. So when I saw a bag of their barbecue pellets, I was like, hey, let me buy them and uh, try them out. Speaking of buying them, I got them at Lowe's and they actually cost uh, 10 bucks for a 20 pound bag. I think that is by far the cheapest I've ever paid for barbecue pellets. 50 cents a pound, uh, that's a very good deal. So let's get the bag open, get them in the hopper and see what they look like. All right, so here's what they look like in the hopper. Um, they're fairly uniform, which is a good thing. One thing I noticed is um, even on some of these longer ones, uh, they're not super long, because sometimes when you get super long pellets, um, this one's a little long here, I'd rather not see that, but the majority of them are not too long because when you get super long pellets like this, sometimes they'll get stuck in your auger and your auger will jam. Uh, they smell pretty nice as well, um, which is nice. Uh, some pellets sometimes have like this weird, almost like plastic smell to them, and these do not, these smell like wood. Yeah, and overall they're a pretty nice looking pellet, so let's get the unit fired up and uh, see how much smoke output they give. All right, y'all, we're about 45 minutes into the cook and uh, I will give you my initial thoughts. So first off, I will say uh, the pellets have a nice, pleasant, woody aroma uh, when they smoke. Uh, by the way, I'm using the hickory pellets. I don't think I mentioned that. Um, yeah, they have a nice aroma. Uh, they give off a lot of like wood smoke or wood smell when they're smoking. Um, some pellets, again, uh, when you're smelling them or sometimes when they're burning, they have like a pellets like uh, aroma, I don't know how to describe it, maybe like a plastic kind of aroma or something. Uh, these have very little of that and they actually smell really like uh, wood burning. Uh, I will say though, as far as smoke output coming out of my unit at 245 degrees, um, the smoke output's probably on the lighter end. And this is kind of how I test pellets out. Uh, I set my unit to 245, which is uh, hot enough to where when I'm cooking, the fat renders off well on uh, whatever it is I'm cooking, which by the way, I'm doing a pork butt. Um, but the fan is running low enough because it's a variable rate fan in my Mac, but the fan is running low enough to where I get good smoke output and as you can see um, it's definitely on the lower end as far as how much smoke is coming out now how much uh, smoke flavor will be in the food I'm not really sure uh, this pork butt's probably gonna cook for eight or nine hours so um, that's plenty of time to get good smoke flavor into the meat and also get a good smoke ring so we'll just kind of see when the food is done uh, so yeah at this point I'm gonna let this uh, pork butt cook and then when we're done uh, I'll check inside of the uh, the burn pot and see how much ash is inside of the pot as well because that's another very important thing. Um, some pellets give off a lot of ash. Some get off. Some give off, you know, a little. It kind of just depends. Um, I've had some pellets to where they give off so much ash that the whole like burn pot is full after like a nine or ten hour cook, and that's not good. So, anyways, uh, we'll come back pretty much after the cook and uh, see how it goes. All right, y'all, the cook is done. It was about an eight hour cook. Uh, I ran the unit at 245 for probably about five hours and then 275 uh, for the last three. So let's see how much ash is in the burn pot. Uh, there is a little bit just kind of around in the unit here, but it's not too bad. Let's check out the burn pot. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, honestly, that's really not that much. Let me pour it out into a foil pan. So yeah, there you go. Really, that's not too bad. Um, especially for an eight hour cook. And then of course there's some pellets, unused pellets that dropped in there. So it's not bad. I wouldn't say um, it's the least amount of ash I've ever seen on a longer cook, but certainly not the most. Um, so yeah, really not that bad at all. Uh, but of course, the most important thing is how does the food look and how does it taste? So let's check it out. All right, y'all, let the pork butts uh, rest. I gotta say, it had a nice colored bark on it, pretty much average like it normally does. Um, the pieces on the outside here, nice looking bark, fairly nice smoke ring on it. Let's take a taste. Yeah, I would say that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, it's maybe slightly less smoky than normal, but I would say the pellets still do a pretty good job. Uh, especially for 10 bucks a bag. I looked online and I guess Walmart sells them for $15, so maybe Lowe's had them on sale or something like that, but for 15 bucks for a bag, um, it's about average for a bag of pellets, more or less. Um, I would say they're not my favorite pellets, but they certainly aren't the worst pellets I've ever used, and um, in a pinch, I would definitely use them again. So yeah, those are my thoughts. My name is Odeed, and I'm out. Peace.